Good evening, everyone. I am going to call the Board of Finance to order at 5.35 p.m. on October 30th, 2023. The um, item on the agenda is the agenda. Welcome. Motion to adopt this. I'll move to adopt the agenda. Uh, second. Any discussion? Seeing none, uh, we'll go to a vote. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. <laughs> Opposed. Motion carries unanimously. We have an agenda. Uh, the next item is the public forum, um, and uh, the, uh, we will open the floor. Is there anyone in the room um, who would like to speak at the public forum? Seeing no takers on that, um, we will look online. Um, I do see former City Council Sharon Busher is with us. Sharon, please raise your hand if you're hoping to be recognized for the public forum. It's not appear that Sharon is raising her hand. I think that is the only uh, non-city employee attendee. So um, I am gonna close the public forum and move to the consent agenda. And I would welcome a motion to adopt the consent agenda and take the action indicated. So moved. Thank you, Councilor McGee, do we have a second? Second. Councilor Jang, thank you. Uh, for any discussion of the consent agenda? Seeing none, we'll go to a vote. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 The motion carries unanimously, and we have adopted the consent agenda. Bringing us to our deliberative agenda, which has just two items, and then we will be hearing from, uh, we'll be having a presentation as a third item. So the first of the action items, for approval and recommendation of the city council is a request for approval of a contract amendment for emergency Nisky River siphon repair work. And see that we have uh, Jim Spencer as well as the lawyer here who uh, would like to kick this off. I'll just say a few words. You may have thought that you've already seen us on this item uh, just a few weeks ago. And um, <laughs> did have that sense of deja vu. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I do want to say that uh, thanks to the fast moving team here, we are pivoting as quickly as possible to get this repair done before winter. Uh, I have been fully engaged in this and believe that staff has put together a good recommendation. Uh, Megan, if you wouldn't mind just summarize the, the recommendation here and uh, we'll have to answer any questions. Certainly, thanks, Tapin. Uh, yes, you approve the initial contract uh, at the last Board of Finance and then City Council. And that initial scope of work was based on the inspections we had been able to do uh, to date. Um, the turbidity in the river uh, when we did our last inspection was still uh, quite high. And so once we mobilized the ECI team with divers, they did additional inspections um, and found that in addition to the joint being broken on near shore, uh, there were some uh, unstable joints that had leakages further out um, up until where the pipe dives underneath the bottom of the sediment. And so it, it does make sense that there was the potential for this. We didn't have that information, um, but our contractor quickly put together a change order that we are seeking your approval on uh, for 400 Fourteen thousand additional dollars. Um, it's requiring a, a lot more uh, equipment effort and labor effort in order to do this other work, but we believe that it needs to be done and it is still FEMA eligible. So, if you have any questions, I'll entertain those. Great, thank you, Megan. Um, the floor is open for questions. Or a motion. Um, APSA. Um, I would like to move the motion as indicated on civic clerk. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Councilor Chang. Do we have a second for that motion? Second by Councilor Barlow. Um, and uh, can you just remind us what it means if it's FEMA eligible, the you will likely. Yep. So it's where it will be at least 75% um, uh, paid for by FEMA with then additional 12.5% by the state with the city being responsible for 12.5%. Uh, 
Um, my understanding is that the state has reached the 90% threshold uh, or the threshold that will potentially draw down a higher level of FEMA um, reimbursements. Um, but that additional money does have to be authorized by the feds. And so there's always the possibility that they won't authorize it given everything that's going on. Um, but we are fingers crossed that we will hopefully only be having to uh, uh, deal with like a 5% local match um, if in fact the, the feds authorize those fundings. Thank you. Any further discussion? Okay. Yes. Um, Go ahead, Councilor Jane. Yeah. I'm. I mean, I think yes. I, I understand about the FEMA, and we're still working around maybe, right? We're not still sure. But what I'm really interested about the insurance of the work being done. How do we ensure um, that it will be also quality, knowing we cannot dive, and also are there contingencies instead after? It's, it's fixed if something else happened. Are there some type of insurances that the city will not come back to it because the work was not well done type of thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, I believe, and Martin, I think is on online. I believe that they are going to warranty the work for at least a one year time period. Okay. Um, it is why we are in parallel moving on a design contract for the, the permanent permanent fix, which would be not to have a, a river on the bottom, or sorry, a pipe on the bottom of the river. Um, so we hope once we will be bringing that to you probably in December for that scope of work and then beginning that design and then hopefully next year starting construction on this other this other uh, alternative. So yeah, um, that and we, we will be leaving. I, I uh, went to the Ward 47 NPA. We'll be leaving the black pipe in place, even though we'll be decommissioning the pipes. So that if something were to happen to the pipe, um, and even if we couldn't get people into the river, right, because of the cold or the ice, we would have this backup solution to kind of revert back to. Hi, hi, Martin. Is it a one-year warranty? I know we talked about this. Yeah, it, it is a one-year warranty. We've talked with the contractor about that, so they, they're keenly aware that they're on the hook for the work that they do for one year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and thank you, Megan, and for attending the NPA. I think it was good. And was just wondering, you know, um, if you have a plan of sending like a communication, because just today, former director of DPW is leaving me a message about this. Um, so maybe an update about where things are at. I know you do a lot of those, but additional. No, that, that, that reminds me that we are, whoops, uh, we are overdue probably in doing a front porch yeah. forum or, or uh, Facebook posting. Okay. So I'll talk with Rob Golding about that. Thank, right. thank you for the reminder. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we ready for a vote? I think we are. Um, we'll go to the vote. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Megan, thank you Martin. A water resources team for uh, the continued big push on this uh, unexpected major issue out there. So, um, thank you so much. Okay, uh, 4.2 creation of one position at the CJC. Um, we have Brian Pine here, Director Pine, to speak to this. So, I'll turn over to you, Brian. Thank you. The record is Brian Pine, director of CEDO. Um, as you may recall, about a month ago, you all approved a um, increase in funding from the Vermont Department for Children and Families for the youth component of what the Community Justice Center does. And their work is, um, um, as, as uh, Rachel described it, they've worked under subcontract through Spectrum before. Now they have direct funding from Department for Children and Families. They expect this funding to get awarded again, but don't have a guarantee beyond July, or by the end of June of 24. So the request here is to create a new position, which um, is being funded entirely by this grant. And it would be a, a grade 16 uh, union position, so an ask me eligible position. And um, it is intended to be limited service just for this portion of the rest of FY24, 
the goal being that if um, if the state continues to fund it next June, for that actually, we would be seeking to make it a, a regular position. But since we don't know if the funding will go beyond the June, we thought it was most prudent to just plan this way for this time. Great. Um, thank you for that, Brian. Uh, the floor is open for questions. Councilor McGee. Uh, I'm happy to make the motion as recommended on civic clerk. Second. Thank you. Uh, second by President Paul. Discussion? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Go ahead, Councilor Jay. Yeah, um, um, uh, Director Pine, thank, thank you for that. And I do believe, just wanted to say also for the record that uh, Rachel has done an amazing job at a uh, trauma-informed leadership panel that took place um, last Wednesday. I mean, I feel like she did an amazing job highlighting this service from the city of Burlington and how, it, how important it is for all the municipalities to consider um, having such a great thing. And she talked highly about 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 the mayor and about about you. Yes, I was I was just very proud to be there. Just wanted to to to, to say it here. Yeah, thank you for the all the work you do and the team does about restorative justice. Thank you, guys. Hey, yeah. 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 Are there discussions? <laughs> Something. Yeah. Okay, I think we are ready for a vote. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Are any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. That concludes that item. And now that brings us to our, our final item, 5.1. Town meeting television is here. Welcome. And uh, uh, I think it's going to give us and update on uh, uh, things are going with our key partner. So welcome, Megan. Hi, folks. Um, I'm Jordan Mitchell is now our Town Meeting TV co-director with Stephen Heron. We're in leadership transition over there, and so she's going to kick us off, and I'm here to support. And she's been doing a great job with Stephen uh, carrying work forward. Great, welcome, Jordan. Great, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, so my name is Jordan Mitchell, uh, Operations Director for Town Meeting TV. This is Megan, uh, and this is Kevin, who's our um, trustee for Town Meeting TV to represent Burlington. Um, thanks for having us tonight. Uh, as Megan mentioned, we're you know, going through some transitions in our organization. With that comes, um, you know, things get left behind. And with that, I have left a couple numbers out of your packet tonight, and I will get that to you uh, after this meeting. So I'll read some numbers that are updated, but it's nothing too unusual, um, but apologies for that. So anyway, I wanna give you a little overview of what is our fiscal year 24, your fiscal year 25 budget, um, and also talk about some things that happened last fiscal year. Uh, so last year we produced 1300 programs uh, for the community with 362 of these programs being municipal coverage. For Burlington, we produced 202 meetings. Uh, this was 28 city council meetings, 17 mayor's press conferences, and 55 NPA meetings. Some of our non-municipal coverage included the Old North End Ramble, City Market's uh, 50th anniversary celebration, Fletcher Free Library's 150th anniversary, uh, the Discover Jazz Festival, Memorial Day, things like that. Um, our contract stipulates the production of six meetings a month or 72 meetings a year, um, as well as some other production within that. Uh, we covered about 107% of the budgeted number of programs, covering 25, 202 out of 189 expected meetings. Um, so Town Meeting TV is funded in large part by cable subscribers of Comcast and Fairland to Telecom. Municipal contributions help to cover other operating costs. So this year, we are requesting uh, an FY25 City of Burlington municipal contribution of 27,783 for general operating funds. And that, that number is in your packet. Um, this is a 5% increase from last year. Uh, and you can see past municipal funding support history on packet page 52 uh, on Civic Clerk. All right, that was left out. We are also requesting 16,695 to town meeting TV production support of ongoing hybrid meeting coverage of the six neighborhood planning assemblies per month. 
Uh, and this is also a 5% increase from last fiscal year. Um, this represents less than half of the actual costs of services. Uh, lastly, we're requesting the same as last year, 40,000 uh, to CCTV productions for additional Burlington Municipal Meeting coverage. This was no increase from last year. Um, and I have those numbers printed out. I can pass around to the folks in the room and I'll make sure that gets shared with the folks online. So secondly, we have an exciting update from the legislature that we're looking for your support to help get over the finish line. CCTV is part of a statewide organization known as the Vermont Access Network. And we've been working for the past several years to find a stable and permanent funding source for community media centers across the state. We've been successful in getting one-time bridge funding for the last few years, uh, but now we're ready to propose a permanent solution for the legislature. To show support for our request, we're asking organizations to sign on to a letter of support, uh, and I can share this letter with you all as well. Um, and this would later be shared with legislators uh, for their 2024 legislative session. Um, lastly, I'd like to, of course, thank Kevin for being the Town Meeting TV trustee to represent Burlington, um, and also one of Town Meeting TV's staff, uh, staff members, Bella, who's online, who you don't see, but she's currently recording the meeting from our office. Uh, when you have your city council meeting, she's the person in the room. Um, so thank you to both of you um, for your support uh, for community media and municipal meeting coverage. Uh, so thank you again for the continued partnership uh, and the opportunity to present. Are there any questions? Thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> floor is open to the board for questions. Councilor Jane. Yes, um, I mean, this is this is so great. And I think from the perspective, Meg, Megan, this is for you, um, that you are getting the next generation ready. Mm -hmm. I think this young person sitting down right here talking to this council about CCTV of the great work that they do. Um, and you knowing also that when CCTV created and the support it received from the city, I'm just happy today that a young person, like the future of CCTV is in very good hand. I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm happy to sign that letter too, whenever you're ready. Keep up doing the good work. Yeah. And I think it's not, um, it's important to mention that Jordan came to us originally as an intern. So when we talk about the work that we do supporting interns, um, Jordan's a graduate of UVM and came to us through uh, Richard um, Watts program there and worked as an intern, uh, did some production work and then we didn't wait long to hire her <laughs> because as you see, um, she's an amazing asset to what we do. We'll say um, just to underline the letter of support uh, for the legislature is both a general letter of support for a fourth year of bridge funding um, out of the general fund. And that um, last year was a million dollars that went to the Vermont Access Network, 23 access centers around the state. And then uh, the second um, is a general support for um, legislation that we expect to see come through with the House and Senate um, starting in January to support um, some replacement of cable revenue. As we see cable revenue decline, we're coming to the municipalities to ask for general operating support. We're also looking for other mechanisms to support what we think is a really important partnership that we have both with um, government entities, but also with our community partners. So we will always have a diverse revenue source. The CCTV production side is our fee for service that supports the work as well. Um, and so um, that's what we're looking for in that letter of support sign on. Can I just add a little bit to the kudos of the trustee? So uh, I, I'm the Burlington trustee, for those who don't know. Uh, if anyone at this meeting or anyone on the council has uh, things you would like Town Meeting TV to do, happy to go through me to do that. Um, but I see my role as twofold. Uh, one, I make sure that Town Meeting TV is fulfilling its contractual responsibilities to this municipality. And that job's really easy because they're hitting 107% of their targets and there's really nothing that uh, they won't do to support uh, getting the community programming to the community. My other role is advocating to this municipality and other stakeholders to support Town Meeting TV. That's why I'm here tonight. And uh, that's, I, I wanna underscore again, the legislative support is uh, important. They love bridge funding, uh, harder to get ongoing support. So fixing this 
cable revenue always falling year over year, asking municipalities for more and more year, every, every year, that's going to break at some point soon. So the legislature really needs to step in and bridge that gap, not with a one-time funding request, but long-term solution. So that's really where, where the future is. Great. Thank you, Shannon. President Paul, go ahead. Thank you. Um, just wanted everyone to know for the record that, um, you know, in the past, the representative for the representative to town meeting TV has always been the city councilor. And uh, I, when I became council president, no one was jumping up and down to be the councilor representing doing this work. And uh, with the resignation of two city councilors, there were just too many, too many committees to, to keep track of. And uh, we were lucky. We were very lucky. We were very lucky that Kevin moved. <laughs> Kevin was in Winooski and moved to Burlington. And I was like, oh my God, you can be, you can be <laughs> a representative. And you've done an amazing job. You've made it so easy for all of us to be kept informed. And I to we totally know that, you know, we totally know that our representation is in um, is in the best of hands. So thank you again for, for stepping up and doing this. It's been, it's been wonderful having you there. And uh what can I say about Town Meeting TV? Bella is at the council meeting. She does a great job and uh, it's been great. So thank you. Thank you all. Well, so, so uh, that's Scott Barker, your C. What I, 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 uh, uh, yeah. Your CIO is going to come um, in November. We have a Alliance for Community Media Northeast, our sec uh, sector industry representative. You know, what do you call that? Our, when we all gather together under one roof in the same um, uh, world, and uh, Scott Barker's going to come and speak. Um, I think you're out of town um, that that day, and so he's going to come and speak on behalf of the city. And we are in uh, communication with both he and um, uh, Catherine Shad to some degree, and also to uh, with uh, Scott Rogers around our various different partnerships and Zach Williams. And so, you know, the door is open to keep having conversations about uh, what we're covering, how that coverage is working, um, the setups in the different uh, community rooms, the setup upstairs, et cetera. So this really is a partnership and we are happy to keep doing it and happy to um, keep communicating with you about how we can do it better. Great. <clears throat> well, good. Thank you very much. We will take all this information um, yeah. under, you know, we, we, it's very helpful to get these kind of communications and this request at this point in the process as we're well, early in the budget uh, process. And um, uh, we, you know, as we have in the past, we'll work with you to um, keep being a good partner. And, um, Continue to have a uh, financial commitment to uh, to make television um, going forward. So we do um, we do have budget challenges on our end too, and we do um, need to kind of weigh this request with uh, everything else in the budget process. But we appreciate getting it this time and taking the time to lay it out for us in person. And uh, good luck to you, Jordan. It's a critical community role, and welcome. To and we look forward to working with you in the world. Thank you. Okay. Um, then I'm going to close that item, and that concludes our uh, board agenda. And um, if no objection, I will adjourn the board of finance at 5:59 p.m. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.